Well, I never thought I'd see the day that I'd be able to pick you up, hey? Hey? Do you know who she was? Let me just try and get a better picture. There we go. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Yeah. Do you know, on regular cat food, and I've had a uh, mini for 11 years, um, on regular cat food, she was really poorly on it. She'd have colitis, she'd be throwing up. Um, we've been to the vets quite a few times to be checked over. And, um, yeah, she was literally like an overinflated balloon, the only way to describe her. And she was such a mess. She was morbidly obese. <laughs> are you getting up to go or are you turning around to say sod off with the camera? Huh? But I've not been able to pick her up because she's been too heavy. Um, and it used to hurt her. Um, it did, it used to hurt her. She used to squeal and... Um, I didn't like to pick her up um, for that reason. But she literally was like an overinflated balloon. Um, yeah, you could not see any, you know, indentation on the back or anything. Um, she was just a solid mass. I mean, literally a solid mass. Um, and she struggled to walk. She struggled. She couldn't jump. She struggled to do anything like regular cats would do and even like when she went to the toilet she used to struggle she couldn't clean herself after she'd been for a, you know the poop and um she used to have colitis really badly um and i tried her on different foods tried different things and it's only when we went on to the vegan cat food that um all that cleared up straight away I used to get told by the vets that it's diet that's causing um, her issues. Um, and yeah, so I was really worried I was going to end up with her as a diabetic cat or she was just going to be dead, you know, because the heart, her body couldn't take the weight. Uh, but, her, you know, her joints were struggling to carry her. That's how bad she was. Um, put her on the vegan cat food and you know the weight loss that started to happen was beautiful it was like a really natural gradual loss of weight um and now look at her <laughs> she's got a little dip in her back which is something i've not seen in her for such a long long time um her fur is all glossy and gorgeous um and she's looking great yeah, I want to get her to the vets because I want to see what, what weight she's in now compared to what she was. Um, yeah. And I've been able to pick her up, which is great. I don't know if you can hear her purring. But she's really, really happy now. And she's doing so well. All the um, issues that she had, the colitis and everything, stopped immediately. Um, when I put her onto the vegan cat food, it's been amazing. Um, and there's such a difference to her. She looks like a different cat, quite literally, you know. Um, yeah, she's fantastic. My golden oldie, aren't you? Hmm? Yeah. So hopefully we're going to have her for an awful lot of years to come. Um... So, yeah, I would definitely say give the vegan cat food a go. Don't knock it. Um, I've had people saying to me, telling me that um, I'm an abuser because of how fat she was, you know, messing about. I used to go, ooh, you know, you're abusing her. And I'd say, well, the vets have given her the all clear. There's nothing physically wrong with her. Um... So I stopped doing videos with Minnie on. Um, but now I'm an abuser because I'm giving her vegan cat food. It's like, you can't win, can you? Um, but yeah, she's gorgeous. Aren't you? Eh? Right, so there we are. Minnie. <laughs> yeah. 
one happy cat because she can finally sit on my lap again. Eh? Yeah. Right, love and knife.